by his word. Welcome to your first lesson in Rock Solid. I'm glad you decided to join us on this exciting adventure into the Word of God. I promise you that as you apply yourself to these lessons, your life will never be the same. I do encourage you to watch both the videos and to read the lessons thoroughly to get the maximum benefit. Remember, Rock Solid is not about me giving you a bunch of dry information. No, I will lead you through a world of discovering these things for yourself. Just in case that makes you nervous instead of excited, you're not on your own. Every week you'll be given an assignment. In the following lesson, we'll review what you should have learned, plus give you additional insight. So if you get stuck in an assignment or not sure if you found what you should have found, don't worry, the next lesson will make it clear. By the way, this is a very flexible course. What I mean by that is that because I'm asking you to search out things for yourself before I show you what is there, you may find things that I do not mention. Uh, and that's perfectly fine. I may give you a verse and have one thing in my mind that I want you to discover and you may find three things. Don't think that you did something wrong. No, this is your study. I'm just here to make sure you find the main points. You may find many more and that's great. Also, things you find in one lesson I may not talk about to another lesson because I wasn't thinking about it at the same time you found it. And that's fine too. Plus, being different people from different backgrounds, you may use different terms to describe what you find. I may say eternally, you may say everlasting. And that's okay, don't forget, this is your study. You put it down as it best relates to you. Just be sure that you're understanding the overall concept. In fact, you might want to make two copies of the outline that's included in this lesson. One to fill in for yourself as you do your study and add the things that you're finding and make your own notes, and the other to fill in as we go along in the following week. I do want to make a special comment here. When looking up verses, keep in mind the rules of context. No verse is written in isolation. It's always part of a larger whole, as we saw in the Feed Yourself course. This is vital. You can prove anything you want from Scripture by taking verses out of context. So don't just read the given verses, but look at the surrounding verses and get the feel for what the author is really saying when he wrote it. So let's get started. Humanism always puts man in the center. And all the religions of the world are humanistic in that they are man-centered, even if they're trying to appease the so-called gods. Atheism, with its idea of evolution, is of course the ultimate in man-centered religion. Even Christianity can become perverted if we come to believe that man is the center. And unfortunately, a lot of Christianity today emphasizes man instead of God and goes into error. But God is the center. Ephesians 1.10 says, To bring all things in heaven and earth together under one head, even Christ. Revelation 1.8 I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. We know that Alpha and Omega are the uh, first and last letter in the Greek alphabet. So it's like God was saying, I am the A and the Z and everything in between, the beginning and the ending. God is the, the center and everything flows from him. All things begin and end with God. So it is with God that we are going to start this study. The first thing we're going to discover is God's attributes. In other words, what is the being of God like? Then we're going to move to the character and personality of God. Since this is the first lesson, we don't have a lesson to review. So just dive in on the scriptures that you have there. So this week, you're going to be searching out the attributes of God. In other words, what qualities does God have that are inherent in his being? that are essential for God to be who he is. So look through those scriptures, find, write down what you can, take your notes, ready, set, search. And I'll see you next week. God bless.